One of my personal favorite features of Studio One 6.1 are the brand new sync points. This is an additional timing reference that we can now use to place unquantized events on our timeline with ease. This has been a massive help in my electronic dance music productions every day already, and hopefully it's going to be a time saver for you as well. So in this rap bridge right here, I have an uplifter effect to kind of get into the groove. It sounds like this. Right? And it has to be placed exactly here for it to have this effect. And let's say that I want to copy that over to a different part of my production here. Now that wouldn't be as easy because as you can see, neither the event nor the transients inside are actually quantized. So if I try to take this event here and duplicate that over, you see this is not exactly at the right spot. If you take a closer look, you can see that here, the left one is ending on pretty much the last quarter note of bar 45, whereas the one on the right is ending just before bar 47 hits. So that's clearly not right. This used to be a regular issue when you try to copy your unquantized events around, but fortunately we now have a new timing reference in Studio One for these cases. We call them sync points. So sync points are like an additional timing reference that you can use if the transients or peaks are anywhere in between the start and end points of the event container itself. To activate them, you can right click and then select sync point here by ticking this box. And now you get this yellow diamond at the bottom and then you can let Studio One know where the actual timing reference is. Now what's really cool is that this actually snaps to the transients of your sample, which makes it very easy to find that anchor point, right? So in my case, I probably want to have that anchor point exactly here on the last quarter note here. And once I have that, once that's set, this is going to be used as a timing reference. So if I now go ahead and copy that over, you could see that this event is now snapping very nicely onto the exact same quarter note in the next bar. Right? I couldn't live without this anymore. Once you try it, you just don't go back. And it might seem like a small thing at first, but I guarantee you, if you do this multiple times a day, trying to duplicate your unquantized events and still have them on the exact same time position, then this is a feature you don't want to miss in Studio on 6.1.